radio activity alpha beta and gamma radiations firstly let me teach you that what are radioactive elements and radioactive decay well consider big atoms like uranium the nucleus of uranium has excess energy due to which uranium is unstable now it will release this energy in the form of radiations when uranium releases this extra energy it will get stability so uranium is a radioactive element because it is unstable due to extra nuclear energy therefore we define radioactive elements as the unstable elements having excess nuclear energy to produce radiations and get stability are called radioactive elements let me repeat it the unstable elements having excess nuclear energy to produce radiations and get stability are called radioactive elements some other common radioactive elements are polonium radium and thorium while radioactive decay is defined as the process by which an unstable atom loses energy in the form of radiations is called radioactive decay consider this radioactive element we know that it is unstable and its nucleus has extra or excess energy this radioactive element will release excess energy in the form of radiations and it will convert to daughter isotope this whole process is known as radioactive decay or nuclear decay or we just call it radioactivity hence remember that radioactive elements undergo radioactive decay or nuclear decay now let me teach you that what is radiation well it is energy that comes from a source and travels through space at the speed of light for example the sunlight or visible light is a form of radiation and its source is the sun we call it solar radiation so remember that radiation is a form of energy now there are two types of radiations non ionizing radiation and ionizing radiation non ionizing radiation has enough energy to vibrate atoms in a molecule for example radio waves and microwaves are the non ionizing radiations they have the ability to vibrate or move atoms in a molecule while ionizing radiation has high energy to knock electrons out of atoms for example alpha radiation beta radiation and gamma radiation are the ionizing radiations when gamma radiations fall on an atom they can remove an electron out of atom we know that when we remove an electron from an atom this process is called as ionization so we call gamma radiation as ionizing radiation because they ionize atoms or they have the ability to remove an electron from the atoms thus note down all these important points now let me teach you the type of ionizing radiations The first type of ionizing radiation is alpha radiation or alpha particles. We already know that in radioactive decay alpha particles are produced. Alpha particles are double positively charged. They are made up of two protons and two neutrons. They have no electron. It is exactly the same like a nucleus of helium atom. we represent alpha particles by helium nucleus he remember that alpha particles are relatively large that's why they can easily be stopped by a paper so we say that they have less penetration ability and can travel a few centimeter in the air on the other hand due to large size and large charge they have strong ionizing power that's why they can easily knock electron out of atom after collision hence noted down these important points 
The second type of ionizing radiation is beta particles or beta radiations. In nature, beta particles are just like electron and we know that the charge on electron is negative 1. Secondly, its mass is negligible. Relatively, beta particles are very tiny. They can easily penetrate through a paper, but they are blocked by a word. For example, they can travel several meters in the air. Thirdly, due to tiny size, they have moderately ionizing power. Hence, note down all these important points. The third type of ionizing radiation is gamma radiations. They are waves of electromagnetic radiations. They are emitted only or after the emission of alpha and beta particles. We know that electromagnetic waves have no mass and charge, so they can easily pass through different materials. That's why they have strong penetrating power. They can travel far in the air. We need thick sheet of lead in order to stop them. Remember that they have weak ionizing power. One last part of ionizing radiation is neutron. Remember that if an atom has too many neutrons, there is possibility that it will remove or give off this neutron in order to get stability. Hence noted down all these important points. To summarize this whole lecture, we learn that alpha particles are just like nucleus of helium which has double positive charge. It has less penetrating power and can be stopped by a paper. While beta particles are just like electron which has negative one charge. It has moderately penetrating power and can be stopped by a wood. Gamma radiations are just like electromagnetic waves which has no charge. It has high penetrating power and can be stopped by a thick sheet of lead. I hope that you have learned all about alpha, beta and gamma radiations.